Hello and welcome. It is Thursday, August the 15th. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today our devotion is coming from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and we will be looking at verses 36 through 43. Here's the word of the Lord. The Lord will vindicate his people and relent concerning his servants when he sees their strength is gone and no one is left slave or free. He will say, Now where are their gods, the rock they took refuge in? The gods who ate the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up to help you. Let them give you shelter. See now that I myself am he. There is no God beside me. I put to death and I bring to life. I have wounded and I will heal. And no one can deliver out of my hand. I lift my hand to heaven and solemnly swear. As surely as I live forever. When I sharpen my flashing sword and my hand grasp it in judgment. I will take every vengeance on my adversaries and repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood, while my sword devours flesh, the blood of the slain and the captives, the heads of the enemy leaders. Rejoice, you nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants. He will take vengeance on his enemies and make atonement for his land and people. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today by Lori Word is The Lord Will Vindicate. And here's what <clears throat> Lori, excuse me, what Lori writes for us today. The scriptures reveal the endless depths of God's desire and patient pursuit of us. Sometimes we are so caught up in trouble and sin that we cannot return to the Lord without the bottom dropping out from under us. At times, God in wisdom gives us over to our false supports and misguided relationships. We suffer misery as a result of our faith, as a result of our faithful trust in empty gods. We are emptied by our pursuit of shiny pleasures. Even then, our Savior attends to us. The Lord waits patiently for the time when we are ready to be released from whatever principalities and powers have their hold on us. Sometimes we are caught up until we reach the very depths of despair. Nevertheless, the Father watches and waits for our time to come home, to be restored to our relationships as we were created to be, and to rest under God's watchful care. What is more, the Lord intends to reckon with the authorities and powers at work separating us from God. The sin that is so easily entangles us is no match for the righteous salvation and devoted love of our great Redeemer. Grace Greater Than Our Sin by Julia H. Johnston is our hymn for today. Sin and despair, like the sea waves cold, threaten the soul with infinite loss. Grace that is greater points to the refuge, the mighty cross. And from the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 20, where sin increases, grace will increase all the more. And this is your daily devotion for Thursday, August the 15th. Have a blessed day.